civil engineering, we have a dissertation. So you choose a subject that you want to pursue, you might do you know, a test, um, and then you write a dissertation on it. Uh, mechanical engineering at my university, which is the University of Art, was more of a so detailed. Sam, what do you think? Like, I don't really want to go to engineering or architecture. I do want to go with a more creative route, but I'm like really open minded about what I'm going to do. What do you think? Is this inspiring you to do more work on your IA? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Getting new ideas from my IA. Is this like part of architecture? It's like so professional. Like when you actually chose your degree, was that a reason that you chose the degree, or was that like an, was that an, like an optional extra, or was that like a, a fundamental reason? You know, actually being able to have a year. This is the place for yeah, you. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if it's changed since I applied to university, but when I applied, you basically had the opportunity to choose a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or you could choose in both of those cases the degree plus the sandwich year in placement. I think in the UK it's referred to as a sandwich year. I think it was about um, waste and pollution and plastic waste in, in, in particular, um, where we basically got a lot of recycled plastics and we made um, sculptures out of them into like sea turtles. Um, and we actually, I think it was a joint project with JW Marriott, and we actually um, made three or four sculptures, I want to say, and actually placed them in these, these hotels just to kind of bring awareness to all the, the rubbish that people are leaving on the beaches in Thailand, for example. And then that can be applied also globally as well with all the plastic waste that we're, we're you know, disposing of in, in you know, places that are in the you know, share and look at it. Um, these two was the engineer's report for um, my final year project. And basically, the final year project was working alongside our. What's the workload expected of you when you get to the university? Is it on par with what you do now? And then we'll finish off, keep the questions on your living accommodations on the end. So we'll do the academic questions first, because I'm sure you've all got questions on what's my life going to be like at uni. You can answer them as well, but let's keep it academic, we'll do it at two stages. Yep, so I'll simply pass it over to you. Are you going to do a brief? I'll, I can do a brief introduction, you know, I haven't planned anything, it's more question answer. Um, but yeah, I can do a brief.